hi everyone welcome to this new video in this video I will be showing you how we can use hybrid functional calculations in CSTA to compute the band gap quantitatively as we all know that a DFT underestimates the band gap sometime up to 50% for a semiconductor or insulator so one can use hybrid functionals to obtain this band gap accurate enough to the experimental value so in this video I will be confining myself uh, to compute the band gap and band structure for C star using hybrid functionals so let's begin uh, before I begin I would like to inform you that we need to install some uh, additional program that incorporates the C stack code with the hybrid functional calculations and that program is home pass so I will provide you the link uh, to download this program in the description okay so let's begin so we will just quickly install this uh, program and then start with the calculation so we have the program here so let's unzip this program now okay it's unzipped now let's get into uh, program itself so this program is almost similar to the CSTA that you commonly can find downloading from the CSTA website uh, but here you need to install an additional library uh, uh, that is Levinit library and uh, no worries for that because the good thing is they have given us the installation script that uh, will install the additional library itself and that script is install.asset so that script not only install the, the extra additional library but also install the whole program automatically within uh, two or three minutes so then we can run the calculations easily now let me install this uh, program using the script if you do not use the script then uh, you need to go uh, manually and uh, maybe that will take a little bit time so uh, I think it's a good choice to start with the script so this is the best script that allows us to install this program uh, home fast and of course then we can start with the hybrid calculation so uh, it's written in Fortran and uh, will not be taking much time to install I hope okay okay there we go so we have installed this program home pass in our system and we will find this program somewhere here in obj file obj folder so here let me just search for this program here is it so now let's uh, rename this file something uh, relevant so i would call it sista hybrid I just rename this file so that I can use it uh, with this name now let me just provide path to my system in bash script so let me make it ed editable okay now it's editable and I think I've already provided this uh, here and then uh, uh, if you need to do it, let me do it one more time. Just uh, go somewhere in the in the bash script at the bottom, and then just uh, go with this pattern where you just provide this path. Okay, up to here, this is default now. Just paste that uh, pwd uh, directory here, and then you will be done. So I've already. Uh, provided the file so I don't need to save it anymore and then you just do with uh, activating this, this code now okay so it should be showing the sister 
hybrid file sorry program now so as I said it's there so we're ready to start with the cal calculation so it, you can see now the C star version 4.1.5 and it is the uh, the upgraded version of Siesta that can compute this, uh, uh, perform these hybrid calculations. Okay, so so we we're done with the installation. Now let's start with the uh, hybrid function calculation. And before that, uh, let me show you what are the additional tags that you need to provide to run this uh, hybrid functional calculation. So of course. Uh, up to here uh, it's uh, common to our uh, basic system input and here of course we, we are defining our system and in this case it's a bulk silicon carbide which is a uh, of course a uh, band gap semiconductor or insulator and uh, of course now you need to in, uh, define the basis size and then functional and then the flavor of functional that is the hybrid functional and then of course everything is quite similar the same thing the pulley values and you can give quite high pulley value for better convergence then uh, k points then uh, type of run and then of course the the band path or high symmetry path and of course this is the additional tags that you need to provide for this hybrid calculation so what you need to do here is uh, you need to just copy and paste these uh, tags in the FDO file for hybrid calculations uh, there. So here what it does is uh, it uses the the standard numeric atomic orbitals format uh, basis into the Gaussian basis, and then of course it will this uh, truncate DM. Will, if it is true then it will use the weighted uh, density matrix for screening the electron repulsion integrals ERI and then you know, if you use this tag true then it will use the short range ERI and then of course these are the threshold values you can vary this value uh, up to your accuracy of your uh, calculations uh, and the desire of the accuracy and the order of accuracy that you need you can vary these, these values, these parameters and obtain quite a good result. And then here this will of course uh, do the parallelization scheme with the ERIs and then the last one this tag will uh, pass the ERIs for dynamic parallelizations. So pretty basic. So we are ready with the input file FDF and of course we need uh, the corresponding um, pseudo potential spaces uh, it's a silicon carbide so we need silicon and carbon uh, pseudo potentials so now we're ready with the calculation so let's begin so of course we need to run this sister hybrid now sister hybrid and I, I should mention that this is quite expensive calculation and takes hours or sometimes even up to days to finish the calculations depending on your uh, power of your system uh, that you are using so I have 16 cores in my computer so I think I will be using here 8 cores for this calculation so this is the way you can do the calculation so this is the output file that you will be finding at the end. So here we go. Oh sorry, I forgot to write here MP. So here we go. So it is initializing the calculation and you will see something weird uh, output here and maybe confuse what it is doing. Uh, it's, it's actually normal what it is doing is it's just transforming or fitting the standard C star basis that is the numerical atomic orbitals into the Gaussian basis and trying to obtain these uh, fitting values and uh, this thing you can 
give it to the FDF input file if you have already but if you don't have then go with the default value just like you go with the default basis and if you do not uh, provide this uh, uh, manually then here yeah. here the sister will give you this NA2 GTO basis uh, fitting values here and this value you can use in input uh, uh, to make your cut in. Now calculation is uh, going well I think well I think I don't know why it's, what just happened maybe uh, So as I said before, the hybrid functional calculation is expensive calculation and it takes uh, uh, hours to complete uh, basic two atoms calculation also. So I will not be waiting to the completion of the calculation. But good news is I have the output already here. So I'm stopping the calculation right here and going to show you the output let me just unhide the output here now okay so this is the output file and this will be the file that you will be finding in the output uh, directory after a successful run of this uh, calculation and now uh, to find the band structure and band gap of course you will be using this dot bands file using the genu band so genu band shifting to the fermi energy label and obtaining the band so now bands are written in bands that that file so let me plot this quickly There we go okay so band is ready so let me just visualize this band within the range minus six to plus six so it looks okay and the band gap looks like 0.39 plus 1.91 so uh, you can sum up the the gaps and compare this value with experiment and I'm not going to do that here because this is just a demonstration uh, purpose video so I will not go with the detail uh, plotting and uh, measuring the band gap and other thing and I'm leaving it to all of you who are watching this video and uh, one more thing that I I have to admit here at the end is uh, this program is recently uh, launched in uh, github by a group of researchers from uh, University of Science and Technology China and it was just uh, uploaded in github in June 18 2023 I think six or seven months before so I can say this is still under uh, a developing phase and uh, we need to do a lot of trial and test to verify the reliability of this uh, code and uh, one of the purpose of this video is to ask you all of you uh, the feedback after running your calculation 
and how I could it you obtain your value please comment down in this video and uh, let me know whether this uh, code is successful enough to obtain this uh, band gap quantitatively or not so hopefully I trust you enjoy the video and uh, if you have any questions anything any confusion please let me know in the comment I will try to uh, respond with all the comments that I see in the uh, comment section okay so thank you thank you for watching see you in another video bye bye